CIETNCERT presents the program Internet Banking The father looking in a rush holding passbook checkbook card water bottle lunch box and seeming to be in a hurry Dad why are you in such a hurry But I have to transfer some money and it is going to be lunch time soon and after that there'll be a lot of rush in the bank and I've got to get the money transferred by today Dad Why don't you start using internet banking and then you won't have to go to the bank for such petty things and just waste your time beta i am from an old generation and i don't understand all this internet banking <laughs> let me explain it to you see like you watch cricket hmm. it is happening live in some other city or some other part of the world in another country but you can still watch it live right 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 so internet today is basically a network that connects computer networks all over the world and it is real time okay okay so similarly these banking services have all now gone online using the internet hmm. and you can send money receive money update your passbook and do a lot more at the comfort of your house without going to the bank yeah Uh, son when i went to bank they were asking me to fill a form for online banking uh, is it the same as internet banking yeah right so online banking internet banking virtual banking these are all different names of the same thing that is being able to do what you do in a bank using the internet from anywhere but son suppose i have to send money to someone's bank account and i do not have a account in that bank can i still do that over the internet yes dad you can use neft which is national electronic funds transfer wait a minute oh, what is that n <laughs> yeah i'll repeat so it is neft uh. and the full form is national electronic funds transfer okay yeah so through this you can deposit cash at neft enabled branches with instructions to transfer funds using any neft using the internet but suppose i i have to send a big amount is that also possible yes for that you can use rtgs which is real time gross settlement and as the name suggests it is real time that is instantaneous and you can send money above 2 lakh with no upper ceiling okay okay and what about the bills our telephone bills electricity bills uh, can we do all of that as well yeah dad you can use ecs that is electronic clearing system which is an alternative payment method for utility bill payments such as telephone bills electricity bills insurance premium card payments loan payments etc etc and dad on top of that you can use imps that is immediate payment services which hmm. is 24/7 yeah. that means you do not have to rush before the banking hours as you can use this to transfer money instantly within banks across india through mobile internet and atm which is not only safe but also economical both in financial and non financial perspectives and this is available 24/7 yeah but the in the middle of the night also yeah papa any time middle of the night late you can night. transfer money to any bank account in any part of the country yeah that's amazing and what else is possible on internet banking so papa you can invest in an insurance scheme financial instruments such as shares and mutual funds and also pay credit card dues all at the click of a button that means you don't have to physically do these things go to a bank and get it done or give a check to someone drop check <laughs> in the drop box or deposit the check in the branch all that is uh, not required you can yeah. do it that's that saves you a lot of energy and time yeah exactly exactly and now this is becoming more and more tech savvy so you can download your bank passbook in an excel or pdf version and keep a check of your entries and write remarks to remember transactions instead of keeping a note of such things in a physical passbook oh, wow i never knew all of this thanks papa and do i need a, a a laptop every time i have to access all of this not at all 
Nowadays, most banks have a mobile phone application uh-huh. on which you can instantly and easily access all your transactions, make payments, and do investments as and when you like. That's why these new phones are called smartphones. Exactly, Papa. They are very smart. Uh-huh. And you'll have to log in on the banking app via a password which is known as M PIN. That is mobile PIN. and you can safely and securely do banking mm-hmm. this is called mobile banking right 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 i'm catching on now <laughs> <laughs> and one more thing uh, what about fraud on the internet how will i get to know if anything has happened papa for that i would suggest you to opt for receiving messages option when you fill up your internet banking form so that you are notified of all the banking transactions happening with your bank account this would ensure that you raise a complaint timely in case any unauthorized transaction has happened on your bank account mm-hmm. <laughs> this seems like a way more efficient system in comparison to me running to the bank every other day exactly this would save me a lot of time <laughs> also one more thing yeah. uh, what about my investments in ppf public mm-hmm. provident fund and fixed deposits How would I get to know how much interest is credited and what is the current balance and the maturity value? Is there a way to keep a track of all this as well? Yeah, yeah, Papa. All this can be done. So once you open internet banking, all your investments shall also be visible on the portal, and you can check the current value, maturity value, and interest credited, among other things. Mm-hmm. Not only investments. you can even manage your loan payments emis all through the portal and there is no need to visit the branch mm-hmm, mm-hmm. got it got it got it yeah but there are a few things you have to take care of if you are planning to use internet banking and what are those so firstly never share your one time password or otp debit or credit card details or details for internet banking or mobile banking log in with anyone anyone yeah no one not even me not even you <laughs> so if i share it what will happen to me i can take money from your account okay uh, that means if uh, i share my uh, pin number or otp or my other details uh, yeah. with anybody so he can misuse that yeah exactly he, he can, can be- transfer money digitally on his own account exactly exactly okay okay and hence you have to ensure that if anyone calls you and says that i am from the bank and request such details then you don't have to entertain them sharing such details may lead to banking scams and even frauds okay not even with the officials of the bank no papa no one no one means no one and bank officials they don't ask such things if they are asking then it might be a fraud it has to be a fraud then <laughs> exactly. it has to be a fraud yeah, if yeah, somebody yeah. asks me you know even if he or she is a bank employee and if he is asking me for uh, my such details like yeah. my pin number or my what did you say otp, OTP. one time password yeah yeah okay okay so okay. it may be someone who is just pretending to be a bank employee and not an actual bank employee just to swindle your money okay okay yeah. okay that is great <laughs> uh, i will start using internet banking from now on yeah papa it will save you a lot of hassle This will save me a lot of time, and I can spend that time with you. You won't be able to avoid me anymore. <laughs> Internet banking. You were just listening to this program. Program coordinator Rajesh Kumar Nimesh. Artists Babla Kocher and Akash Ahuja. Technical coordination Bati Langdingdo. Recorded by Mayank Kumar. Technical assistance Shanu Muksim, production assistant Kusum Lata, guidance Ajit Horo, directed and produced by Vimalesh Chaudhary. This program was brought to you by C I E T N C E R T, New Delhi, India.